everyone. I hope you are all doing okay, feeling relaxed, and feeling very peaceful. So, today I am going to read to you some deep questions, some questions for you to reflect on throughout the day and throughout the week and probably throughout your entire life. And a lot of these questions require a bit more thought for you to answer properly. And the answers that you may have now may change as you get older. So, just give it a long thought and try to answer as honestly as possible just to reflect on and uh, most importantly feel relaxed and very calm some of these I may answer myself too throughout this recording but I'm going to try and keep it very brief so let's begin what are you most proud of just think about that for a second. Think about everything that you've done in your life so far. How do you think people see you? What is your greatest fear? What are three things you value most about a person? What kind of parent do you think you would be? I think I would be quite a relaxed parent actually. Although it's kind of hard to say. Things can change of course. What advice would you give your past self? How would you like to be remembered? What makes you feel accomplished? I feel accomplished when I complete something that I was worrying about. For example, before I record a video, I'm unsure if it's going to go as I want it to go. But then when I finish it and I watch it over, and I'm, uh, I'm pleased with the result, so I guess that's one thing that makes me feel accomplished. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? I don't think I would change much, to be honest. What do you think about when you are alone? I think about questions like this a lot of the time. But it's kind of a, a bit of everything, I suppose. What have you done in the past that you are ashamed of? What negative qualities about yourself would you like to improve? If today was your last day alive, how would you spend it? I would probably spend it by contacting the people I had spoken to in the past. Um, people that have had interesting, uh, how do I say, conversations with. Or that uh, people that meant something to me at one point. I would probably spend it by doing that and just uh, getting a last word in. Um, I don't know if I would tell them that it was my last day though. Unsure about that. But that's how I would spend it. What would you say is the most interesting thing about you? This is quite a, a broad answer, but I would say 
that I am myself. Um, I'm very honest with myself, so um, it's quite a broad answer, but um, that's the most interesting thing about me, I would say. The answer is kind of like a, a tree with branches, but I'm just going to move on from that. Do you prefer material possessions or experiences? Experiences without a doubt. How do you determine whether someone is your friend or not? How critical are you of yourself? I would say I'm very critical of myself. Um, yeah, I mean everything I do. I feel like um, it's got to be. I don't really like to use this word, but I feel like everything I do has, has to be perfect in some way. But um, yeah, I'm very critical of myself. How self-conscious are you of your physical appearance? I would say I'm quite self-conscious of it. But, um, but yeah, does the thought of death scare you? Not really. Um, it only scares me if it's about a death that happens sooner than it should have. But generally speaking, no, death doesn't scare me. How do you personally gauge someone's intelligence? So this is quite a, a complicated one. Um, there's many, many types of intelligence, so it's quite, a, it's quite difficult to pinpoint or quite difficult to gauge someone's intelligence because of that. But, um, I mean, there's certain things here and there from someone's speech, I guess. But, um, again, you can't really, you can't really uh, put a number on it because it's such a broad thing. How often do you put yourself before others or others before yourself? Um, I think this goes by it goes from situation to situation, so it depends uh, what I feel is right at the time. Um, if I feel it's the right thing to do to put others before myself, then I'll, I will do it. Are moral values strongly reflected in your actions? Yeah, I would say so. I would say so for sure. Um, especially as I got older and I understood myself more as a person. Have you ever stood by or stood up for a friend during an altercation? Why did or didn't you? I definitely have, because I think it was the right thing to do. Um, if, I, if I view someone as my friend, then um, I will help that friend. What is the most courageous thing you've ever done? It's the most courageous thing, but um, definitely one of them is that I've stood up for myself every single time that I had to. That's uh, probably one of them, but I don't know if it's the most courageous thing. How often do you take risks? Um, I would say quite often actually, but probably I do it more than I should. Would you describe yourself as a sentimental person? Yeah, I definitely am a sentimental person. Um, I feel emotions quite, quite strongly, especially when it's um, to do with, uh, how do I say, sadness and love and that sort of thing. So yeah, I, I would say I'm quite a sentimental person. How often have you not done something due to fear of being judged? A lot more when I was younger, but uh, now that I'm older, um, not so much. Are you easily embarrassed? Um, the same, same as the last question. Um, when I was younger, yes. Now that I'm older, no. Do you find yourself acknowledging and embracing your weaknesses or trying to hide them? Um, probably a bit of both, but um, definitely as I've gotten older, I think uh, embracing your weaknesses is the thing to do. Um, it builds uh, strength and security and uh, self-confidence, so I think that's important. Does it ever cross your mind whether or not what you are doing
doing is meaningful to you. Yes, definitely. Um, I always try to look at the internal rather than focusing on the surface. Um, if there is internal meaning, then it's worth my time. Are you often misunderstood as a person? I would say so when I was younger. When you're young, you uh, you don't really know yourself. You're still in that process of discovering who you are, how you view yourself, and uh, how you view yourself within the world. And I think the theme here is uh, the differences between your mindset when you are young and how it changes when you are older. Um, I think a lot of my answers, it kind of goes back to that. Um, so with experience comes, um, how do I say? <laughs> with experience comes a better understanding. So I guess I'll say that. But anyway, those are the questions, some deep questions for you to reflect on throughout your day, the week, and just your life in general. I hope you found it insightful, and most importantly, I hope you found it relaxing to listen to. So until next time, I'll see you in the next ASMR video.